May 2022 astrological events, begins in the sign of Taurus. May's ruling planet is Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, and abundance. The full moon of May features a full flower moon, which is also the first eclipse of the year. May 5, 2022 brings the Ada Aquarius meteor shower. In the hour or two before dawn, wherever you are in the world, look to the eastern horizon for the constellation of Aquarius. Stargazing apps or star charts can come in handy here. Be patient, and you'll likely see more than a handful of shooting stars, which are predicted to rain down at rates of about 10 to 20 meteors per hour. Those who can't hunt for shooting stars on the morning of the May 5th shower might also be able to catch some stray fireballs near dawn on May 4th or 6th, according to Earth, Sky. May 16th has a full moon. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. This full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the flower moon because this was the time of year when spring flowers appeared in abundance. This moon has also been known as the corn planting moon and the milk moon. Meditation during a full moon is a powerful way to quiet the mind and bring your energy back inwards. Taking time for a guided meditation or even light physical activity, like yoga or walking, can also be beneficial during the full moon. Focus on self-love and self-worth by taking time to light candles, draw a cleansing salt bath, and use the full moon's energy to reconnect with your physical body and spirit. The year's first lunar eclipse will appear on May 15-16, 2022. A total lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes completely through the Earth's dark shadow, or umbra. During this type of eclipse, the moon will gradually get darker and then take on a rusty or blood-red color. It's a releasing eclipse, it's all about releasing and letting go of old karma. This is a highly dramatic moon with every potential of conflict, argument and power and control games. If not for the help and support of Pluto, Mars, and Neptune, this one would be a train wreck. Lunar eclipses bring powerful forces that mix the past, with the present and the future. An eclipse can set in motion surprising endings, beginnings, and faded events. Eclipses in astrology always bring sudden shocks and revelations, so this lunation is likely to inspire a totally new sense of direction and purpose for all zodiac signs. We will want to embrace Sagittarius' optimistic and adventure-loving vibe as we navigate the eclipse-induced changes and focus on seeing the big picture when examining our goals. The last week of May has an explosive finale, as it brings a Mercury retrograde motion, happening May 10 to June 2nd. Three times a year, the planet Mercury appears to travel backward across the sky. We refer to these periods as times when Mercury is in apparent retrograde motion, or simply Mercury retrograde. Some blame Mercury retrograde for all chaos that happens in their lives. This is a good time to sit back and review what you put your energy towards. Take a moment to reflect. Mercury retrograde can be an excellent time to take a step back and reanalyze who you are and what you are doing. Mercury is the planet that rules communication, thinking, timing, and scheduling, so its pesky retrogrades can really throw off our day-to-day -day equilibrium. You already know the Mercury retrograde drill, expect typos, tech troubles, and missed appointments galore. You'll want to double-check your texts and think through your words before firing off, especially given that this retrograde takes place in Gemini, one of the zodiac signs ruled by Mercury itself. When we want to attract something particular into our lives we can use the knowledge of the law of attraction and the power of our minds to attract the thing, purely by making it our vibrational focus. We have to first understand that everything happens at the time it should, no sooner and no later. Start with this affirmation, Thank you, universe and guides of the highest truth and compassion. I am ready to feel free. I welcome a newfound faith. Say the prayer out loud and take a moment to settle into the feelings of what it means to surrender to faith in the universe. Manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates your spirit and the spirit of the world. Manifesting isn't about getting, it's about becoming. The more you let go, the more you become a match for what you desire. 
Join us at www.secretserendipity.com where great insights reveal deep discoveries. Where great insights can impact future choices and attitudes. Where we strive for a deeper understanding of the power of the universe.